All right, let's check this out. Electric Dreams. Here we go. Well, I just downloaded this project. Everybody can check out. And yeah, I would say beautiful scanned assets. I think uh, they are just like really absolutely perfect. There's nothing in the scans or in the textures. In the materials, I think you could do even better anymore. Um, Lumen Nanite, everything is basically here when you open this project. And yeah, the auto automatic exposure control, as you can see, also is turned on and works very well. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, I'm getting here on my machine 50 frames per second. And I'm recording this on a full 4K spectrum monitor here. Uh, super cool is now the new substrate materials, of course. What was presented before from the Unreal Engine presentation. But I think overall, it's not just about that. I mean, this looks seriously also like it's great. The idea to change the material domains and make it work like physical based uh, shaders. Hmm. Yeah, really cool. Water reflections, even dirty water, rocks and stones, leaves. I mean, it's a paradise. <laughs> uh, beautiful. But I think one of the best features in this is, of course, like the procedural way to build then those. Um, uh, levels or to create environment art and I need to dive into this I need to check out how the procedural system actually works because that's definitely like another power feature I would say so to use it not just understanding also like the power of like nanite and lumen and here like seeing all those scanned assets um this looks like basalt rock formations almost and so but like really really great i mean you know when i was growing up as a kid and we had like commodore 64 <laughs> and you had a few sprites in the computer graphics world you were like wow you know, games, we play games like Ghost and, Ghost and Goblins, Goblins or like Maniac Mansion and stuff like this. I mean, we have never, we probably would have never thought that, that computer graphics are becoming as full real like here, doing this all in real time. And now check this place out. I'm, I don't know how big it actually is. So that's the main demo map but it seems pretty massive. And yeah, I mean, with this, you can shoot the new Predator movie, right? <laughs> That's all you need. It's perfect. Whew, yeah, it's massive. Oof, oof, oof. Yeah, it's pretty big. Let's speed up here the camera a little bit. Let's see. Let's fly out here. Yeah, no, pretty, pretty insane. Pretty insane. Ooh. Okay, here we go. There's somewhere a finish line, but I mean, that should give you a lot of options to shoot your new Predator movie. Or, you know what? Because I'm from Austria originally, if you don't know, you shoot another movie called like The Sound of Music <laughs> and you find the crazy ostrich on top of the mountain here. Yodeling. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, so something like that. Ah, amazing. So that's it. Very short and quick. Check it out if you haven't seen it. If you need a set, this is of course like, yeah, it's a, it's a candy. And um, I'm trying to figure out later than this weekend, I guess, uh, how the procedural uh, world is actually working. And it takes a little bit of deeper dive to understand how you can actually then use it. But I would say that's the real, the real interesting part. Um, I would also say for art directors, creative directors, and for all the environment artists out there um, facing challenges and moving things around, because if you get a different creative direction and it's creating kind of like um, the pathways or the the bushes and trees then in a procedural way that's exactly what you're aiming for that's what you would like to have because you don't want to plant every bush every tree manually by hand all the time but yeah fantastic really cool all right that's it i hope everybody is happy getting this file and then playing around and running some tests Ooh, what's underneath um yeah, and have some fun. So another, I think, amazing piece. There is, I think there are other maps in there, the lighter ones, um, but I didn't check that out at this point. So we'll see later. All right, have a good one. And yeah, have fun pixeling. Take care. Bye-bye.